Hey everybody, this is Big Sean C, and today's review is going to be uh, a bit of a kind of a bit of a classic. Uh, it is the Colt Series 80, model 1991A1. Now I've had this uh, particular handgun since uh, 1992 and made a couple little changes to it but first let's go ahead and get a review ready all right um, some things I've changed is uh, one I've got a hobe grip on it which on the on the 1911s I really do like the hobe grips I've had a couple I've had a, I used to have a black one on this one before that and I've had a pair ordinance P13 which also had hobe grips on it they're just Really, really good grips. Um, you don't have to really stress putting a death grip on these things to hang on to them, which is great. Um, another thing you'll notice is uh, it was Duracoated, and uh, it's got a little bit of holster wear. Kind of, I guess, kind of gives it some character. Uh, but I do plan on going and having the guys over at um, Excision uh, Arms. Um, those are one of my local guys I use uh, doing a Cerakote on it, and maybe going a little bit darker. Uh, this is uh, this particular color is called stone, and do maybe just a shade lighter than what's on the grip. And uh, that being said, there's uh, being that it is a 1911, there are just countless accessories for these things. You can customize them however you want. I know a lot of people say, you know, they have problems feeding this and that. Um, I know when I first got this. I did have a few jams, uh, failure to feeds, uh, the first 100 rounds or so, but this thing has got probably close to 3,000 rounds in it as we speak with um, no internal parts changes, nothing's worn out, it's just really broken in. Um, that being said, you can get, uh, they come with standard 7 round mags. Um, plenty of reputable companies like Shep McCormick and Wilson Combat. Uh, make uh, really good eight round mags. Oop, hold that right side up. And then ones like this Power 10, which I've had this for probably about 15 years. And um, it has just been flawless for me. Uh, granted, you do carry, away, carry around some extra weight and does not exactly make it the best concealed carry option. Um, I've actually relegated this since I've gotten some smaller, more compact. Uh, handguns this is kind of relegated to the house and um, have other ones for the house for that but uh, for carrying around on the property and around the house I'm carrying it I do have this CompTAC holster it's the Infidel uh, it's inside the waistband and I do like it it's, it's very very uh, comfortable so I do like that and that being said, I did take it out to the range today, and we did uh, put a few rounds through it. I was testing out some other handguns as well, so if you'll look at the center target, uh, that's the one I was shooting out at uh, 15 feet. Um, not shooting super straight. It's uh, been a little bit since I've had a chance to really time to go out in the range, and uh, with ammo prices where they've been, you know, I've got to juggle a few things there to make that work. But uh, that being said, let's uh, go take a look at the range. Um, went out to Eagle Gun Range in Louisville, which is a really good range. I like it. Um, very nice facility. Uh, great selection of uh, ammo on hand for range ammo, and you can even buy ammo to take home. But it's you know a little bit higher, so do uh, it's good for you know checking out what they have. They got a great selection of rental guns. They do uh, CHL courses and everything there. Um, great, just a great facility all around. It's fairly new, very well ventilated. And everybody there is very nice and it's very professional.
All right, guys, so that was a quick little trip out to the range. Just kind of give you a feel for uh, what it does compared to the other. Uh, let's see, the top left was a Glock 22. Uh, top right was a Glock 19. Center, of course, was the uh, 1991A1 there. And lower left was the Smith & Wesson Shield. So um, I say they really all sh shot pretty well at that close a distance. You know, only 15 feet away, but that's pretty standard defensive distance. And that being said, guys, um, if you like the video, please like it. If you haven't already subscribed, please do subscribe. I've still got that 500 subscriber giveaway going for the 40 round P mag. And uh, if you're in one of those states, you can have one. And also be sure to comment and share. Sharing the video is kind of how we can grow this and get it to where I can uh, do more videos by having the subscriber base and move on up uh, in within YouTube. And if you happen to be a manufacturer of a product, uh, please contact me via my Facebook site, and I'll put the link down below. And for everyone else, uh, please do join the uh, Facebook site as well. That I kind of put things uh, content out there that uh, won't be here on the YouTube channel and other things. But if you got something you want me to review, and uh, definitely put suggestions out there, or if you're a manufacturer of product, do send me uh, or get in touch to send me. We can do arrangements to review your product. And as always, guys, stay safe out there and uh, have a good evening.